Hey everyone, my name is Michelle Zacco from Cutting Edge Stencils and we're excited to be here on Home Talk today. We are going to show you how to take a um, boring builder beige tiles and transform them, uh, easy makeover, affordable, with paint and a stencil pattern. So we are actually going to be giving away, we're going to be using our Callista stencil, tile stencil, and we're going to be giving away this tile stencil along with um, professional brush kit and a roller to a lucky winner who tells us where, what floor in your home would you stencil? Bathroom floor, kitchen floor, what floor project do you have coming up or where would you use this? Just comment, like, and share this post. Let us know where you'd be using this and we'll announce it at the end of the tutorial. All right, so let's get started. Um, we are good. This is a boring, it's a beige builder tile. It's a ceramic tile. It's a 12 inch tile. And so this is a standard in a lot of homes. So we're going to show you how to add a little bit of paint and pattern to this. And you can find all of our stencils over at CuttingEdgeStencils.com. We, we have a special discount for all of our Home Talk fans. Use the code HOMETALK2017 to get 20% off your stencil purchase. So to kick off this project, you're going to be using TSP. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to clean your tile floor. So you're going to follow directions on the back of the box. Um, and make sure that your entire floor is appropriately cleaned. The key to stenciling a floor is to make sure that you have um, properly prepped and um, to make sure that your paint can adhere to the tile surface. So you really don't want to have any dust or debris. So follow directions, clean off your tile, and that's the first step in this project. Then you're going to take some blue painter's tape and you're actually going to um, tape off the trim around the tile. So if you're doing this, let's say in a bathroom and you have trim along the floor, you're going to take your blue painter's tape and you're going to tape off the floor. So that tape off the trim so that you don't get any paint onto the trim as you're painting. Next, you're going to prime your surface. So we love this primer. It's called Sticks Primer. It will stick to anything. So it is a great primer and it's perfect for a project like this. It is water-based, so it does wash off your roller. So that's why it's, it's amazing for cleanup. So you're not going to have to deal with an oil-based product. Um, and it really works very well. So you're going to open up your can of paint. If you had, hadn't used it in a while, make sure you get a stir stick. You mix up your paint a little bit. We've used this recently, so we're just going to pour it into our painter's tray. Okay. And now we're going to take our dense foam roller. We're going to roll it into the primer. And again, this is a great way to kick off a floor project because it's going to um, create a great foundation for all of the painting that we're going to be doing. And now we're going to roll the primer onto the tile. Now we're doing one at a time. Obviously, if you had a whole floor, you would just be able to roll um, the primer on your whole floor. The other thing to keep in mind is you can actually get this primer tinted. So if you wanted to, you could tint it into a gray or another color um, and use that as your base. Today we're going to walk you through all the steps. So we're going to show you what it's like to prime and then base coat and then stencil the floor. Okay. Now you would typically apply more than one coat. You're gonna, we would um, let this dry, you know, give it a half hour, an hour to make sure if it's dry. You can apply your second coat of primer. We're going to put this off to the side and we're going to be moving along to the primed. Um... So here you can see we've already primed one right here. And for the next step, we are going to be painting it and we're painting in a creamy white. Now again, a little tip to keep in mind when you're doing a project like this, when you're going to start uh, a floor project, start in the back of the room and sort of work forward. You don't want to trap yourself in the back. Okay, and now for this we're using um, Benjamin Moore Ben Line. It's a flat paint and it's Navajo White. So we're going to properly coat our roller. Again, it's another, you can use rinse off your dense foam roller and then use the same roller. And now we're going to be, we love this white, it's a very creamy white. What's the coupon code? The coupon code is um, HOMETALK2017 and it is good for all of the stencils over at CuttingEdgeStencils.com. If you're just tuning in right now, we're showing you how to take a boring um, builder beige tile and transform it. It's a very affordable project and it can give a look, it can give a room an entire new look very quickly. Oh, and we're also giving away this tile stencil today. We're giving away tile stencil and dense foam roller and some brushes. 
All you have to do is tell us what floor in your home would you be making over. Okay. So this is our, it's our tile floor that would be base coated. You can see now it's a, it's a pretty shade of an off white. And so once this had dried, now we're ready to move on to the stenciling portion. So we have prepped some tiles right here. And again, we're doing this just to kind of give you an idea of what it would be like. Now you're going to understand that this would be an entire room. Again, we're using the Ben line. So this is the can of Ben, uh, Ben Benjamin Moore Ben paint. We love this paint. It's their you know more inexpensive line of paint, but it really is great for a project like this. And we are using the Callista stencil. This is our tile stencil. It's a beautiful pattern. For a project like this, you can use a little bit of spray adhesive. You could use spray. Um, you could use painter's tape but spray adhesive just helps hold the stencil in line. So what you would do is you would take your spray adhesive, you're going to flip it over, and you can see which, which side is the front and the back by the name on the bottom. Do you see that right there? It says cuttingedgestencils.com. You're gonna flip that over to this side. You're gonna open up your spray adhesive, and you're gonna spray the back coat of the stencil. You're gonna do this in a well-ventilated area. Don't do this in the spot where you plan on stenciling. Once you feel that it's tacky to touch, so it's a you know, couple minutes, just give it a couple minutes to tack up. Then you're gonna be able to position it on your tile and it will not leave a residue. Now, here's a couple things to keep in mind as we're doing something like this. We're going to be aligning this on the, um, onto the tile. There are grout marks onto this tile. Now, if we were doing a cement floor or we were doing, let's say a floor that had no grout marks, we would be using the um, registration marks, which are actually right over here. Do you see that right there? That's a registration mark. If we had no grout lines, we would have to be, take our stencil and we would be attempting to, oh, I can't do that right here. We would be attempting to line it up um, using our registration marks. But because we have a grout line, we're actually going to be using the grout line to line it up. And we're just gonna pat this down. And we are gonna open up our can of it's New York State of Mind. It's a Benjamin Moore blue. And we're gonna pour this into the tray. Our viewers wanna know what the coupon code is. The coupon code is Home Talk 2017 and you can use that over on, on CuttingEdgeStencils.com. And so we're just gonna properly coat our roller and we want to make sure the entire roller is coated. And now we're going to um, offload the roller onto the paper towel. We don't want to have too much paint onto our roller. So yeah, we offload it to make sure that there's not too much. And now we're going to apply our roller onto the tile stencil. This is a beautiful blue, beautiful shade of blue. And we're just going to evenly roll this across the tile. Now remember, our stencils are reusable, so all you need to do is use a little bit of soap and water to clean off the stencil. Okay. A lot of our followers love this stencil. They would definitely do it in their bathroom. And this is such an easy makeover for a bathroom because with a little bit of paint and the stencil, you can easily give your bathroom an entirely new look. And it's so affordable. It's, you know, you're not spending um, $1,000 on new, on new tiles. So we're going to give that some time to dry. We would peel back our stencil. If we needed, we could always give it a second coat. Again, we're kind of walking through this a little bit on the quicker side. We probably would apply a second coat, give it some time to dry and then apply the second coat. But I'm gonna peel this back so you guys can get an idea of what this is gonna look like. Ah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, and now we're gonna be stenciling the, the next tile over. So we are going to line it up now again, like I had said, if this was a tile project without grout lines, we would be using the markers to kind of make sure it's lined up. But this has grout lines, so we are using the grout lines to make sure our stencil is evenly placed. 
How many coats of paint would you recommend to put on? I would recommend two coats of stencil paint. So you're going to be, you know, you've already applied your base primer. Um, then you have applied your uh, base coat of paint. And now when you're stenciling, I would make sure you did like two coats. Make sure that it's evenly coated. And it could be two light coats. One of our followers would like to know if this works on a concrete patio. Yes, this does work on a concrete patio. Um, you can do this on a concrete patio, you can do this on a wood floor, you could do this on plywood. So let's say you decided to lift your old carpet and you had a, a wood uh, subfloor that maybe isn't in the best of shape but you don't want to pay for new flooring, that's fine. A project like this works on that type of flooring. Oh, this is an important question. How would this paint hold for mopping on a floor? We're going to actually get into the cleaning of this, um, but this, this type of a project does hold up for cleaning. So let's say you do use it in a bathroom, and you have kids and they destroy your bathroom and you need to clean the floor. That is doable. Um, what, we are going to apply a clear coat after this, which is going to seal in our beautiful design. It's going to complete the look, and um, it's going to allow us a final layer that we can um, clean. But one more thing I just want to mention, let's talk about the paint choices that we've made today. We have decided to use Ben by Benjamin Moore. Uh, we really do like that brand, but let's say, you know, they do make a floor paint. We would not recommend a floor paint for a project like this. And the reason we don't recommend the floor paint is because um, there are extenders in floor paint, which just give it a, a longer dry time. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. It looks perfect. Now that came out absolutely gorgeous. So we would not recommend a floor paint because of the extenders, it's going to increase the dry time. It's going to give you an imperfect line when you go to stencil. So you're not going to get that cream, uh, the crisp line that you would get if you used a, a paint like Benjamin Moore. Or ben, the Ben from Benjamin Moore. Alright, so now, once our stencils have been painted, the next step to complete everything would be to apply a clear coat of paint onto the tile. Um, we like to clear coat with, it's a varathene polyurethane, varathene polyurethane, it's a water-based product. Um, this is going to seal in our design, it's going to seal in our paint, and then it's going to basically lock it in so that we can clean it, we can walk on it, and it's not going to get damaged. It's not going to get stuff, scuffed, it's going to be perfectly fine uh, for quite a while after this. So you're going to open this up. Now you could apply this with either a brush or a roller. Um, they also make a floor pad, so if you were doing some, a project like this and you wanted to use a floor pad, you could totally use a floor pad to kind of apply the last step for this project. A lot of our followers are saying they would use this as a backsplash, which we love. Oh yes, a backsplash is a great idea. And again, if you're just tuning in right now, we've just shown how you can take boring builder beige tile and give it a whole new look using paint and a stencil. Um, we're giving away the, the stencil that we've used today along with some tools. Just tell us where in your home you would use it and you'll be entered to win. We'll announce the winner at the end of this. So now we've loaded up our roller with the varathene. It's a clear coat and it's hard to see, I know, this is a satin but we're just going to be applying the clear coat onto the tile pattern. And this is just going to lock it in. It, this is a satin, so it's kind of like a little bit like a semi-gloss. It's going to give it a little bit of a sheen, but not too much. Now you could use any sort of a sheen you wanted. If you wanted it to have a higher sheen level, you're welcome to use, let's say, a gloss or a true semi-gloss. And you would probably give this um, two to three coats, and you want to give them a couple of hours in between coats to dry. The other thing is I just want to mention is a little bit of a trick of the trade. Um, let's say you did paint this and you, you know, maybe you got a brush hair on somewhere, or you just kind of wanted to not sand it down, but you want to give it a more finished sort of look. You could take a brown paper bag. Just take the brown paper bag, put it over your hand, and kind of gently rub across the tile. And that's going to get any, if you had any small little bumps, of, or sometimes if you're painting with a paintbrush, you know, you may get a little brush hair left behind. The brown paper bag is a neat painter's trick to sort of clear everything up. Then you take your varathane afterwards and you clear coat it and you've protected it. Look at how gorgeous that looks. And that's how easy it is to stencil a floor. 
look at the gorgeous pattern we have. So don't forget, you can get all of our stencils over at CuttingEdgeStencils.com. Uh, we can... We, our stencils do come with a grout line. So we actually have not painted the grout line. We have left it white for this project. Before you applied the varathane stain, if you did want to apply, if you did want to, you know, change your grout, you could potentially, you know, lay down the grout line. And then it would be as easy as taking a stencil brush, you know, choose your grout color. Um, you could choose, let's say, a gray or something. And you could very easily sort of... Uh, We're just going to dab our stencil brush. We'll give you an idea of what this would look like. You know, we're gonna, we would take a stencil brush and we would dip it into our paint, brush off the excess paint. We don't wanna have too much on there. And there you go. We would be colorizing our grout line. Now this is, a, this is a personal choice. I personally love how the white grout line looks, but if you wanted your grout line to be on the darker side or you wanted it to be sort of customized, this would work also. What are people thinking of this project so far? Everyone loves this project. So many great ideas. Their patio, their backsplash, their any room in their house. And they especially love the colors too. Oh, it's a beautiful blue. New York State of Mind, really pretty blue. Perfect for a floor. Again, now you would do the, you would apply the grout line color before you apply the, the uh, varathane stain. But we're just doing this to give you an idea to show you what it would look like. And then you would pick up, and there you go. Now your grout line has a little bit of color. This would work, you know, and if you didn't have a grout line, this is the perfect way to now add the grout line. Okay, so we are gonna take you on over and show you sort of what a little bit of a finished floor. We've finished off a small section of a floor to give you an idea of how uh, amazing this looks like when you've done multiple pieces of tile. So why don't you come on over this way and maybe now we can um, pick a winner for somebody who has told us where they would use this stencil in their home. Yolanda Smiley is the winner. Congratulations, Yolanda. We um, are looking forward to your project. We hope you share it with us. And so we just want to mention, now this is our 12-inch Callista. It's the large Callista stencil. And you can get that over at CuttingEdgeStencils.com. Use the code HOMETALK2017 to get 20% off your 20% uh, off your purchase. And we are so excited. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. We hope to see you again next week.